Okay. Yeah, it's me, Daniel. Yes, it's Daniel. What's up, guys? It is Flex. Been a while since you've done a commentary, and I missed you guys. But let's get into it. Um, we are gonna do a Mundo game, Doctor Mundo versus Renekton, and if I remember this game, I made a few mistakes, specifically in the lane phase. Now, when you go against someone like Renekton with Ignite as Mundo. One of the biggest like problems you're gonna have is like early aggression. You're definitely gonna be fighting against an aggressive opponent. If someone takes if someone goes like Renekton and Ignite, Riven Ignite, you know what I mean? Aureli Ignite, they're obviously gonna be extremely aggressive. Alright. Now you can do two things. One, as Dr. Mundo, you can do two things. One you could just farm with your cleaver, which is what you'll see me do a lot. And the other is you can call for jungle help, you know what I mean? Like, if you're against a top laner that does not have teleport, you need to get your opponent up here. I mean, your jungler up here, okay? Because if your jungler comes and ganks, it'll put... I mean, normally if a jungler ganks, what does it do? It puts your opponent behind, you know? If your jungler ganks, you'll put Renekton behind a little bit. But if he doesn't have teleport, then he gets put behind a lot, because he's got to recon and walk all the way back. Okay. So, yeah. Runes and Masteries will be in the description. It's harassing, you know. He just used his Q there, so as, like, as soon as he uses his Q, then you can go in for some aggression. Try and proc your um, Grasp of the Undyne. Alright, so this is a pretty bad spot for me here. He had level 2 first. I'm, they're on level 2, but it doesn't really matter because he's got over 50 fury. He's got ignite. He can definitely chunk me down. So, like here, I just want to farm, you know? I just want to farm with my, uh, my cleaver. It's fine. He tanks some damage there. And, like, Renekton's trading very well, you know what I mean? He's level 3, I'm level 2. He's got the advantage, he has Ignite, he can certainly get a kill, you know what I mean? So, like, I need to be popping up. I am popping in my pots, but I'm in a really, really bad spot here. I believe I die here. I kind of got, what do you call it, carried away. No, I, we get the kill here. Yeah, right there. I see the E coming up. Yeah, we got a kill. It's good. And then he TPs back and kills me. Yeah. Can we fast forward this. Oh, he doesn't TP. He walks back. What am I talking about? He has Ignite. Alright, so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I have 900 gold to spend, which means I can probably get a. I can finish my Bami Cinder. I should recall here. I should have recalled here. And if you, at any point in your lane, get a kill, shove the lane and recall because your opponent's gonna come back with an item advantage. Item advantage if you don't, which is exactly what Renekton does. He comes back with another Doran's Blade and he still has his Ignite up. And sure enough, he gets the kill. My goal is to get level 6 and just pop my ultimate, but I didn't take into account, um, I underestimated Renekton's damage. Like, I went to recall here, but then I was like, you know what, let me hit level 6 first. He got a lot of free damage there, and that's like a red flag there. Okay, I'm at 40% HP. He's got Ignite and almost fe full Fury. That's a red flag, which I didn't take as a red flag. Like, yeah, I'm farming and whatever, but yeah, it's not going to last. There's his level 5. And then I flashed like a nub. And then I threw my Q like a nub. Your Q costs HP, by the way. But yeah. 
really poorly played there. Um, as soon as he hit level 5, he had a couple of extra points in his queue. I should have left immediately. I should have actually left after I shoved the wave, but... You know, it was a mistake. You know what I mean? That's the whole purpose of these. See what I did right, see what I did wrong. I go ahead and TP back with Bammy Cinder, and I buy boots, by the way. I go for the boots because I want to try and counteract his, um... His mobility with Slice and Dice. I know he's level 6, I'm level 5, but I wanted to try and keep him here. Alright, so... He's pinging for help, that's pretty funny. Alright, so my thing here, he's no low on Fury. As soon as he wastes the Slice and Dice, I'm gonna all in with my ultimate. Okay, whatever. As soon as he did that, boom, pop the ulti. Rest in peace. That's cool. That's cute, your ulti. But, so many things you need to look into when you're using Mundo. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna pause and rewind or anything. People have been telling me they don't want me to do that, so. When you use Mundo, you see how this has the Mastery, Grasp, and the Undyne? And when it's green like that, that's when you can proc it on an enemy champion. So, when you're using people like Mundo or Shen, you have to make sure that, like, all the little extra bits of damage that you can deal are up, okay? Your E is up, your Grasp of the Undyne is up and ready to be proc'd, your Bami, you have your Bami Cinder, you just hit him with a Q, you know what I mean? Like, whenever you want to fight someone as Mundo, in the lane, or trade, just make sure your Grasp of the Undyne is up, and just take full advantage there, you know what I mean? I'm already buying HP, so Grasp of the Undyne is going to deal more damage than if I wasn't, you know, if I was someone else going AD or something. But, I mean, something you'll see me do a lot as Mundo is take jungle camps. Really easy to take them. I kind of DC'd right there for a bit. Uh, really easy to take them. Use your cleaver, percent HP damage. So, yeah. Again, it was right after I killed him, shoved the lane, and rather than recalling there, I just went to go take the camp. Rush the Tabais because, I mean, one, they have Vayne jungle for some reason, and two, he's Renekton. Okay. Farming. Just shoving the lane in here. I think I make another silly mistake when Vayne comes to gank time. But again, I was just being really aggressive, you know. I didn't have the Vayne gank. I saw her on the ward though, but this was the worst part. So I, I knew she was going to be in this bush, hit her with the cleaver and knew she was there. And rather than running just through the Renekton, I ran back towards the Vayne. And she pinned me back, got ignited. And yeah. What I should have done is well, ran straight into Vayne after she missed a Gundam. And just stay as far away from Renekton as ignited as possible. So, another pretty poor play on my part. I don't know why I ran this way. I guess it's because I kind of figured that Vayne would deal more damage to me, but... That's ludicrous. You know what I mean? I mean, you got the Renekton with Ignite, he's got four swords, and Vayne, who didn't even have Devourer finish yet. So, mistake. Not too bad on the farm, though. 69, 62, I'm up a wave. And that's because I'm about to miss a full wave right here. It's not too, it's not too bad, I guess. But, we bounce back strong. Yeah, he made a mistake right there, as soon as he ran back inside. You can cancel him auto. Give it to the Master Yi. I mean, I'm Mundo. Giving kills to Mundo is cool and all, but honestly, I'd rather get this Master Yi actually ganking me fed, you know? How to shove lane, you just pop your W. jungle camp and then I recall all right so this is Sunfire K finished I said you know I'm a TP since he shoved in and like at this stage you're, you you just kind of want to just go aggressive you know what I mean like just run in activate your W and shove you know what I mean and then I saw Renekton there I really wanted to shove
All right, next thing I get Kindle gem, and pe pe like people always wonder or ask me sometimes, like, should I get Spectre's cow first? Should I get Kindle gem first? Uh, frankly, if you're against someone who deals magic damage, obviously get the cow. But if not, get the Kindle gem for the CDR, just so you can spam your cleavers. Vayne kind of poked the bear there, so I made sure that I was taking tower and then just went in. the jungle camp. I uh, say, so what the hell? Let me take the raids too. But they're pinging me to go defend mid, so it's like, alright then. Pop my ulti. So immediately switch targets to the vein as soon as I get vision over. Didn't run into the bush so that they can see you. And now I just 2v1. Cute. I cancel my auto a lot on this guy. Maybe I should take the attack speed mastery instead of the ability damage. And I just thought I was invincible there for some reason. So I did my cleaver just to make sure I can assist. But yeah, I felt pretty invincible taking damage from those two. So I was like, man, this is your can't kill me. But I didn't have any MR and he killed me with a kite. Anyways, so now we finished the spear visage and I think that's pretty much all we need for Azir. Azir just has a stinger, and I don't know what he's getting next, but it doesn't really matter because they have Vayne, Renekton, and Tristana, so I'm gonna go for armor next. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Taking jungle camps. My favorite thing to do is Mundo. Amazing flash from that thresh. Make sure to highlight it, and I just kill him with my, I kill him with my W. Yeah, Mundo doesn't really care about towers. Yeah, see, like I don't really care. <laughs> I love the Mundo left. It's the funniest thing. care about exhausts either. <laughs> Mundo goes where he pleases. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Next item we're going for is Randuins. I don't like Dead Man's Plate on, on Mundo. A lot of people do, but like some people rush it. I just, I'm not a fan. You know, it's the armor it gives isn't that good. Oh man, I went to the wrong one. It doesn't really give as much armor as I want. It doesn't give as much HP as you want. It's a nice passive though, but I'm not saying it's wrong to get. Like you can certainly get it, but again, someone like Vayne on I kind of wanted to go Randuins. Farming, split pushing. Now that's something we can't get carried away with, like as Mundo. As Mundo, we need to group. We need to group like ASAP. It's just not worth it, you know. Like Mundo is such a valuable person, a uh, valuable asset to team fighting. Like you cannot waste it by split pushing. Go straight for the Azir, and then switch over to the Renekton.
Bumpy cast me. I just wanted to kill him with the Sunfire kit. Come on. But again, I'm taking tower. I don't really care. Mundo's really easy to use, you know, and he's really, really strong. The thing about Mundo is he just can't fall behind. If you fall behind his Mundo, you, I don't know, you become pretty weak. And I know people say Groovy Swings don't really do anything to Mundo, but they do, but like if you're against someone that actually knows how to like fight against Mundo. I'm, I'm gonna offer some tips like how to play against Mundo here in this room also. So if you're landing against Mundo, something that's really strong against him is like, like if you were using Renekton, okay, if I were this Renekton with Sun with the Ignite, I would have probably rushed the um wow that hook. I would have probably rushed the What is it called? I don't even know what the item is called, but it gives grievous wins. The executioner's calling, I think. I really think like if Renekton rushes that and he gets a few ganks from the vein early, like I'm dead. You know what I mean? The Grievous Wounds plus Ignite. You know what I mean? Like, you can certainly play against Mundos, play around Mundos and, like, kill him, but... I was like, okay, sure, Tris. Oh. But, like, this Renekton had such a good opportunity to do it, but... Oh yeah, I died there. Mel 2 was about to come up, and there it's up already. Like, if you're against Mundo, you just need to get... You just need to get ganks, man. Especially if you have Ignite. You need to get ganks. Get ahead early, put him behind early. Because once he gets those three items or two items, it's it's pretty much over. Like you would need really good focus to kill Mundo. Like you need five man focus on him for you to kill him and burst him down while his ulti is active, you know? Like and people don't really know how to do that, not even my ELO. Like people just don't know how to do it, which is why Mundo is so strong. Because Mundo requires like actual team coordination and some people just don't want to be a team player in solo queue, you know what I mean? So that's why Mundo is really strong. Just things to remember. If you're against someone with Ignite, Aurelia Ignite, Riven Ignite, Renekton Ignite, Jax Ignite, you do have to play cautious early, you know? Wow, that Thresh is level 8. I'm level 15, about to hit 16. That's pretty cool. That's pretty funny. Oh, I hope that wasn't Daniel ringing the doorbell while I'm streaming. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's rewind that. We were disrupted by Daniel. Okay, I don't know what that was. Typical things to do, just take the Baron. I mean, look at the score. The score, the game's already over, but actually, it was like, let's go for do Baron. So I was like, okay, sure. Probably could have definitely done it a lot earlier, but pop the ulti, find the cleaver, and just literally run in the middle of everyone. Like, oh, there's a walk pool, run around it, and just run straight through. And that's GG. So, a couple of tips to like remember when you want to use Mundo. One, 
playing cautiously early, not a bad thing, okay? I digress. If you have a cleaver, just make sure you last hit with it, you know what I mean? If you play correctly, you can last hit with Mundo and it's like impossible to zone him out, you know what I mean? Without taking the cleaver yourself. So, playing cautious early, not a bad thing. And... Two group. Okay, like, once you get Sunfire Cape and Spirit Visage, it's like time to group. Alright, if you saw me split pushing, then it was mostly because I wanted to finish an item. But, yes, this was Mundo versus Renekton. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know in the, in the comment section. Again, runes and masteries are in the description. And good luck, guys. Thank you for watching and waiting.